barka da zuwa green fx trader so yau lesson din da zani yau shine akan forex trading menene forex trading so shine yau abinda nake san zamu san shi from a tunda wannan lecture da zami eh lesson din da zami zamu fara shine tun daga farkon forex hat to the end da kuma yadda nake yin play eh nake yin trading dina da trading plan dina do in Allah ya so yadda zamu bayani akai da kuma abubuwan da zaka gani wanda idan lokacin in kura ka ga setup akwai abubuwan da zaka yi lura da su wanda ba za ka yi trading ba so do ina son a cikin wannan lesson din insha Allah eh a cikin lessons din da zamu yi gaba zamu fara shi ne from the beginning to the end zan yi bayani ne step by step so yanzu muna kan forex trading so ga wanda bai san bai taba yin forex ba menene ne ma'anar forex trading so guys so forex trading kasuwa shi ta duniya ta harka canjin kudi da za ta baka damar ka siya ko ka siya so za ta baka damar ka siya ko ka siya kamar yaya kenan so shine yanzu du nake so zamu yi wannan kasuwar forex tana gudanuwa ne tsakanin network din bankuna wanda take aiki awa 24 kuma kwana 5 a sati litinin zuwa juma so a lokacin da ake trading forex a sabar da lahadi za ku ga kasuwa a tsaye take check sai 12 shabiyun darin lahadi monday ta shiga tukunna za ku ga wannan da bude so anan takaitaccen bayani shine ma'anar forex din tunda mai kafin ka kafin ka san kafin ka fara abu da man ya kamata ka san me ya basic me ya aikin sa so kasuwa ce ta duniya ta harka canjin kudi za ta baka damar cin din ka siya ko ka siya so anan purpose na wannan class din guys shine mun ji kasuwa ce ta siya ko ka siya din yaya ake yin siya din kuma yaya ake siyarwa din shine abinda ga baki dai class din nan ya kulsa so let's continue kasuwar forex ita ce babbar kasuwa ta duniya wanda take da budget na trillion trillion dollar fadi eh a rana trillion dollar fadi abinda ake budget din ta a rana ana budget din trillion dollar a rana wanda ake yi trading da shi so yanzu mun riga da mun san ma'anar forex sai currency fee su currency menene currency fee su ne kudin da ake trading din da su ake kasuwancin da su so anan a cikin nan ina son zan yi bayanin menene ma'anan su da yadda suke aiki da komai da komai ne currency fee da turanci abinda eh sunan su currency fee da hausa sune kudin da ake trading eh sune kudin da ake trading da su na forex wanda eh ake trading da su na forex so bara mu gani wannan za ku ga yanzu anan za mu ga AUD guys AUD so me wannan AUD din take ne mun san wannan currency ne na wata kasa amma ta ya za mu gane cewa wata kasa ce wannan so anan eh anan yadda suke zuwa duka baki dai currencies din forex suna zuwa in three alphabetical letters wannan haka duk suna zuwa haka so anan shine nake so ku gane cewa ga abubuwan da suke nufi wannan alphabet 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 din nan na farko da na biyu guys yana indicating sunan kasar sunan kasar um, country din da country din kasa shine yana indicating 
shi kuma wannan alfabet din na karshe na indicated sunan kudin kasa yanzu let's say a ce kamar dan yi muku misali da USD USD wannan da US din nan tana bukata tana nufin United States sai kuma wannan sunan kudin kasar kasar garin suna amfani da dollar ne so su ma shine na dauka example kamar haka wannan AUD wannan AU tana nufin Australia sai D tana nufin dollar so wannan in brief haka kudin kudin kasan suke aiki so akwai su da yawa yadda suke aiki guys a cikin wannan din a cikin kudin kasan in ka zo cikin forex zakai trading suna zuwa suna zuwa da alphabet unit let's say a ce zamu ga zamu ga akwai USD sai kuma mu ga AUD so wannan zamu ga ya zo a haka USD AUD sorry rubutun na baya futuba sosai so wannan anan akwai wani abu a cikin su da ake kira base da kuma court currency so menene base din menene kuma court din shine nake so zan yi bayani dalla dalla yanda za mu gane yadda suke aiki so sai sai a ce yanzu mun dauka wannan kudin wannan kasa AUD USD a cikin nan me haka yake nufi AUD USD mun gan su a a so a forex do yawanci ya haka suke zuwa currencies din so do yawanci a haka suke zuwa AUD anan guys duk currencies din da yazo a farko na a farko shine base currency din ka shi kuma wannan na biyu shine court currency idan kai selling idan kai selling anan da wannan zaka samu riba shine the base da shi currency din ka na farko shine wanda idan kai sell ko buy to zaka samu profit a na gaban shine ma'anar base da court currency so yanzu bada mu kara gaba so sai kuma bit da ax menene bit menene ask guys one nan currencies din price din nan su ne bit wannan na farko shine bit wannan shine ax din ka duka baki daya haka yake tafiya nan su ne bit din kuma ask so menene bit da ax din ask din nan idan kuka shiga cikin meter trader na waya za ku ga idan price yana tafiya za ku ga wasu laika kwaya biyu suna tafiya duk inda candle ne suna bin sa suna motsawa tare so wannan shine to shi kuma bit da ax shine yake nuna tsakanin profit na broker wanda za su broker yayi za su samu wani irin profit kenan wannan guys ta inda broker suke samun profit shi yasa su ko asara kai su suna da riba za ku ga a ciki wannan bit da ax line din a cikin chart din ka akwai akwai wani dan tazara wanda idan candle ya fito ya fito sai ya wuce sai ya wuce tukunna zaka fara samun profit so wannan shine ake kiran spread ya ake lissafa shi ya ake lissafa shi so ka gashi ax the bit shine spread din ka te da ake lissafa shi guys yanzu in muka wannan dama in dai zaka yi lissafi na spread shi kuma spread shine pips tazaran da suke tsakani ana lissafa wannan nambobin kwaya hudun nan na bayan point din nan ana amfani da four decimal point 
na na bayan wannan na bayan number yanzu annan no ne four decimal point din shine nambobi kwaya hudu na bayan na bayan point kaga annan muna da 1 2 3 4 zamu dauke su annan ma muna da 1 2 3 4 isu ma zamu dauke su so bada mu ga yadda shi kuma zamu samu wannan spread din annan abinda ne guys na ce x minus bit ne shine bani is equals to 1 pip shine spread din mu guys shine abinda yanzu broker din nan ne ne buying na wannan gbp usd to spread in profit din da zasu samu da gani kenan wanda ko na yi losing su wannan profit din yana na so annan in kuka duba ga aud chf shi ma inda za mu lissafa pips din sa eh spread din sa za mu lissafa za mu dauka wannan number bond daya biyu uku hudu sannan za mu dauka wannan 1 2 3 4 za mu dauke su mai minus din su yanzu anan maka dauka maka ce 5906 minus 5908 abin da ya ba mu ta zan 2 pips ne guys 2 pips sai kuma wannan nambobin a ciki a wannan zaku ga akwai raise power 0 wannan raise power 4 anan maka duba za mu ga spread din mai is equal to 1.4 1.4 pips shine spread din mu so haka yake wannan duk wannan kawai ina muku example ne yadda za ku gane amma yadda suke aiki amma men wani din saboda nan shine basic kawai ku understand din dai kawai yadda suke wannan babban aikin da yana gaba bari mu je banana pips so guys pips da turanci shine ake kira full meaning din sa ana kiran sa price interest point price interest point so ya ya shine ne ne pips guys idan za ka lissafa faduwan ka loss ko profit ana da safin sa ne ta pips kaya ake lissafin sa let's say a ce bari ya janna ba da example so yanzu wallan let's let us zoom yanzu price din yana wannan level din eh one point but in prime number yana 1.96679 sai muka ce zami kalku eh muna expecting zai zo na inda za mu sa take profit din Zizo 1.98165 ta yara mai safan shi so daman na fada muku guys in dai zaka lissafa in zaka lissafa pips wannan nambobin za ku ga sun zo kamar maka dauke example 2.0227 din nan muna daukan four decimal point na bayan point nambobi ko ya hudu da su muke lissafa kalkulatin da kalkulatin na pips din so yanzu anan zamu dau number bi ko ya hudu na bayan point 1 point din nan na bayan 1 point din nan da wannan number an yi kalkulatin mu ga yanzu let's say a ce idan muna expecting candle din mu in ya zo nan bada mu ga tafiyan tafiyan pips na wa zai kafin ya zo nan inda muke expecting zai zo so yanzu guys yadda na lissafin na ka duba a ce eh kai kai ba fa kai ba fa danci 98 na dauko wannan ne a inda inda manipulate ne yake na guys in kuka duba yanzu let's say a ce za mu lissafa daga nan zuwa na ana in kuka duba wace number ce babba wannan number ita ce babba wannan ita ce karama menin da wannan zamu fara daukowa 
ita zamu zamu sa sai mai mai nasin din wannan tunda kwashewa zani saboda yanzu muka ci zamu kwashewa wannan zai ba mu amsar da zai ba mu zai ba mu minus sai nambobin exactly nambobin amma zai ba mu minus ne so yadda ake lissafin yanda ake lissafin yanzu tunda saman nan zai zai tafi sai ka duba price din ka da kuma inda kake expecting zai je sai ka duba ka ga wannan number ne a ciki babba sai ka dauko ka fara sata yanzu kun ga anan nan inda zai zo it price din ne babba so abinda zami anan sai mu ci 990x16 dama na fada muku number bi kwaya hudu na bayan point ake dauka wanda za a calculate na pips su ne wannan 9816 sai muka dauka number bi kwaya hudu na bayan point din nan 967 su ne oh nice shi ma guys saboda nan ba nan na sabo 0 0 na sabo anyhow so haka ake lissafin sai mu ce wannan minus wannan lissafin da nan shine ba ne 140 146 pips 146 pips so 146 pips 146 pips mu daga da mun san shine ake lissafin inda candle zai yi yanzu mun san in ya tashi zuwa nan zai je a 146 pips so bari na ji da is another example yes so yanzu idan in za in za ka yi calculation na bai abinda za ka yi kenan za ka yi dauko wannan wannan highest number din to wannan eh wannan highest number din minus wannan minus price din ka in za ka yi calculation na bai kenan in kuma na sell za ka yi kana expecting yanzu daga nan candle din nan zai dawo ya ci gaba da yin kasa to anan ma za ka kara duba wace number ce babba a cikin wannan nambobin za ka duba wace number ce babba muna da 0.6341 sannan muna da 0.6247 meaning that kun ga wannan number ita ce babba so za mu ce wannan number minus wannan amma amma ka ce minus ita so abinda zai ba mu ani zai ba mu 40 zai ba mu 94 pips kun ga yadda ne exactly wala din a dauko wannan number ita ce wannan sai na ce minus wannan in ina expecting the candle din zai zo na to ina so in lissafa how many pips is that to haka ake lissafa za ka ce wannan price din for this small point number bi kwaya hudu na bayan point su ake dauka a yin lissafin pips da su ka san how many pips ne so yanzu amma na expecting daga nan zuwa na shi ne za mu samu 94 pips ina fatan an gane wannan to sai kuma law sites wa uba kenan so menene law sites guys law sites shine wanda yanzu in muka dauka example din da muka yi na baya zai yi tafiyar 94 pips to shi law sites shine wanda zaka sai ta cewa kaman ka ce duk pip kwaya daya kana son ya zama wandala to shine zaka zo ka sai ta law sites din ka ya zama to kun ga in muka ce 94 uh, 94 pips din nan na baya example din baya da muka yi in muka ce zamu duk pip kwaya daya duk one pip equals to equals to one dollar muna so ya tafi kuma candle din mu zai tafi 94 pips meaning that zamu samu 94 dollar profits 90 96 ne ko 94 dollar profit so bari ku ga yadda na wannan um she lost sight she ne yake calculating pips value mene ne pips uh, pips value yanzu mun mun riga da mun san cewa charts din mai yana tafiya yana tafiya ne yana lissafi ne akan pips yana tafiya how many eh, yana tafiya pips ne so yanzu in muna son kaman alal misali yanzu muna expecting candle zai tafiya 5 pips 5 pips 5 pips so 
yanzu a five pips din nan let's say a ce in zamu sai ta loss size din mu wanda shine zai zamu sai ta loss size din mu mu ce duk one pip duk pip kwaya daya equals to 3 dollar so yanzu annan kuma muna expecting yanzu kasuwar mu za ta je daga inda muke expecting zamu ci profit din mu za ta yi tafiya na five pips five pips meaning that sannan mun sai ta loss size din mu na ce one dip kwaya da is equals to 3 dollar to kaga anan zamu ci 3 times 5 3 times 5 which is equals to which is equals to 15 equals to 15 kun ga abin da zai ba mu tunda mun san mun riga da mun ce mun san dip pip daya is equals to 3 dollar to in kalle safa pip guda din uku uku sau biyar kun ga shine zai ba mu zai ba mu 15 ko yes shine zai ba mu 15 dollar so haka wannan da yake aiki so bara mu gani ina jin na bada misali muna da 94 94 94 pips muna son za mu trade din na one lot kuma one lot din nan equals to 7 dollar me haka yake nufi nan muna expecting daga nan kasuwar mu in ta zo na za ta ba mu wannan 94 94 pips guys to shi amfanin lot size shine wanda yanzu mun san da cewa za ta yi tafiyar 94 pips so za ta yi tafiyar 94 pips kafin ta zo wannan level din to muna son yanzu ban to yanzu duk pip kwaya daya zai tashi 7 dollar zai tashi 7 dollar duk pip kwaya daya shine one lot zai tashi 7 dollar so anan yadda lissafa yake yanzu anan anan mun ce eh one lot is equals to 7 dollar per pip duk pip kwaya daya shine zai ba mu 7 dollar to in muka yi lissafin in za mu yi lissafi ka za mu ce tunda mun san pips kwaya 94 ne za mu yi trading din kuma duk pips kwaya daya 7 dollar ne to za mu ce 7 times 94 94 pips shine abin da zai ba mu 658 dollar profit tafiyan da zai mana daga nan zuwa nan daga nan zuwa nan shine amfani lot lot size yanzu in muka rage in muka rage wannan menin da profit din mu zai ragu ba zai kai yawa haka ba in muka kara shi profit din mu zai kara yawa shine lot size shine amfani lot size ina fatan wannan ma an gane shi lot size shine wanda in muke expecting yanzu daga nan zuwa nan zai tafiya to anan ne za mu san lot size nawa za mu saka wannan du za mu zo wajen money management anan amfanin lot size yake risk management inda za ka san nawa za ka yi risk ko da trading ya tafi a gidan sun dinka so so ina jin anan za mu karo za mu kawo karshen wannan topic din sai kuma mu hada topic na gaba thank you